and welcome to this video looking at bond enthalpies. Bond enthalpy is a way that we can calculate enthalpy changes without using combustion data. You can find bond enthalpies and mean bond enth enthalpies on page 10 of your data book. They are given as the energy required to break the bond that is shown in the data book. However, if you're making the bond, then the same amount of energy will be released, so we'll have a negative sign in front of it. Bond enthalpy is the energy required to break a specific bond, such as an HH bond or an O double bond O, and this has one specific value. The mean bond enthalpies that are shown in the other table are the average energy required to break a bond. For example, a CH bond, which can is calculated from different environments. So, for example, you would have a CH bond in an alkane, so you would have a slightly different CH bond in an alkene or in a benzene ring. So the values required to break that bond are slightly different, so they are taken as an average. Breaking bonds is an endothermic process, whereas making bonds is an exothermic process. And I'm going to talk you through the steps required to work out the enthalpy change using bond enthalpies. Here we have a reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. One of the first things I would recommend that you do is draw a line down the middle to separate the two parts. So on the left here, we're going to have the breaking of bonds. And on the right, we're going to have the making of bonds. So the process that we're doing when we're looking at bond enthalpies is we are breaking all of the reactants down into atoms and then rebuilding them back up again into the new molecules. Something that is useful to do in the beginning of when you're looking at these bond enthalpy questions is to actually draw out what you have present. So here we have two H2 molecules. So we have H and H and then we have an O2 molecule. So you know that these are all diatomic and the oxygen has a double bond. This just allows you to count up what bonds you actually have present. So we're breaking two HH bonds here. And if you look in the data book, you'll see that each of those bonds is worth 436 kilojoules. So that's 872 in total. And we're breaking one oxygen double bond. So that's 498. So the total energy that needs to be put in to break all of these bonds is 1370 kilojoules. The bonds that we're making, we're making two molecules of water. So you can see that we're making a total of four bonds there and they're all the same. So we're making four times OH bonds. Each OH is worth 463 kilojoules. So that's a total of 1,852 kilojoules being released because it's exothermic. To work out the delta H, we do breaking minus making. So we have 1,370 minus 1,852 to give us an energy change of minus 482 kilojoules per mole. Let's try a second example. In this example here, we're looking at taking carbon and combining it with hydrogen and chlorine to form chloroethane. And this is what we would call an enthalpy of formation reaction because we are forming this product using the standard states uh, for the elements. For the carbon, when you have solid carbon, you're needing to break it up into atoms. That's using the sublimation value that you'll find right at the bottom of the data book on page 10. So we're going to have two times the carbon sublimation value. So that's going to be two times 716 which is 1,432. We then have two and a half HH bonds that we're breaking. So that's going to be two and a half times 436, which is 1,090. And then finally, we're breaking half of a CL, CL bond. So that's half times 243. 121.5 so that gives us a total energy required to break the bonds as 2643.5 if 
for doing the product, I would recommend that you draw a picture of your product. So we have C2H5Cl, so make sure that all your carbons have four bonds. And we're going to highlight the different bonds that we've made here. So we've made five CH bonds, I've highlighted those in yellow. We've made one CC bond here in the middle in green and then one CL bo CCL bond on the end there. So we're going to have 5 times CH, so that's going to be 5 times 412, which is 2060. We've got 1 times a C single bond C bond, which is 348, and then 1 times a CCL bond, which is 338. In total, the energy released is 2,746. To do delta H, we do the breaking side minus the making side to give us a value of negative 102.5 kilojoules per mole. Here are three examples for you to try. So remember to draw out your reactants and products first so you can count up how many of each bond you have and then work out what the values would be. The final step is to do breaking minus making. Looking at this first reaction here, I'm just going to put the line down the middle to separate the two. We have C2H4. So it's really important that you draw this out so you know what type of bonds you have present. So each carbon needs to have four lines coming out of it. So to have C2H4, we must have an alkene and then we have FF. So the bonds that we're breaking, we have four CH bonds that we're going to break. So that's four times 412, which is 1,648. We've got one times a C double bond C, so it's important that you have drawn that so you know which bond to look for in the table, and that's worth 612, and then 1 times an FF bond, which is 159. So we have a total energy input of 2,419 kilojoules, and then our product, when we've added the fluorine to the ethane, is this here. So we've made four CH bonds. So that's four times 412, which is 1,648. We've made one single carbon to carbon bond, which is worth 348. And we've made two carbon to fluorine bonds, which are each 484. That gives a total energy released of 2,964 and to do our enthalpy change we do the breaking 2,419 minus the making 2,964 to give us a value of minus 545. For the second example we have fluorine reacting with water to produce HF and O2. So here we would have two FFs and we would also have two water molecules being broken. So if we're breaking two FF bonds, that's two times 159, which is 318. And we're breaking a total of four OH bonds. Each OH bond is 463. So that's a total of 1,852. If we add those together, we get 2,170. And then we're making four HF bonds. So that's 2,280 and one oxygen double bond, which is 498 giving us a total of 2,778. Delta H is breaking minus making. 
giving us an overall enthalpy change of minus 608 kilojoules per mole. And here is our final example. So we have a methane molecule and two oxygen molecules. So we're going to break four CH bonds which is a value of 1648 and two oxygen double bonds so that's a total energy required of 2644 and we're going to make one carbon dioxide so it's important that you draw this out so that you see that it's a C double bond O on each side and then we're going to have two water molecules being made as well so we're making two C double bond O bonds so that's two times 743 and we're making four OH bonds that's 4 times 463. So that gives a total of 3,320. Delta H is the breaking side, 2,644, minus the making side. To give you an enthalpy change of negative 676 kilojoules per mole. Thank you for watching this video on bond enthalpies. I hope that you find it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos.